Man, they're asking a lot of personal questions on this form. Well, they have to know a lot about you. I know, but this much? It's crazy. You want to look at it and tell me if it looks okay? Oh, wait. I have to go to work soon. What? You can't leave me here. I have to. Uh, this is the first time I've ever been here. You can't just leave me alone by myself. Yep, I'm not the one that needs it. You need help. Uh, but you're the one that told me to come here in the first place. You can't just leave me alone. You promised. But I have to. I have work to go to. Dr. Guerra, uh, which one of you uses both? That would be me. Nice to meet you. And uh, can I see the file, please? All right. And uh, you must be Elizabeth. Nice to meet you. Uh, Isabel, would I be able to talk to you for a moment alone? Um, sure, but it would have to be fast because I have work. Yep, perfect. All right. All right, Isabel, so uh, why did you decide to bring Elizabeth here today? Well, ever since I've known her, she's just acted very different from all the other kids, and I'm just really concerned about her. Um, what have you seen her do exactly? Well, from what I've noticed, she remembers her father a lot. They're both extremely clingy, and they both rely on so many people. Um, have you ever, have you ever been in a group project with her by chance? Um, in middle school, we would do projects together, and she'd always rely on me to do basically all the work, and she would just avoid doing anything. Uh, has she ever been in a relationship? She's in a relationship right now, and she absolutely loves being around him. Um, what, what other information can you give me on her? I mean, third-person perspective, non-biased opinion and all. Um, well, she doesn't have many friends. She basically only has me, and she's just very dependent on me and my thoughts on her and everything. Um, but I really have to go, because I have to go to work. Oh, that's perfectly fine. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, Elizabeth, so uh, I just want to start off by saying uh, there's a doctor-patient confidentiality that we have, so um, please feel free to say anything that you, uh, you know, feel uh, you need to say. Um, this should be a completely comfortable environment for you. Um, so uh, let's start. Uh, how are you feeling today? Um, I'm going to actually be honest. I'm a little upset. As you can tell, my friend just left. What, what about your friend leaving upsets you? Well, I don't like being alone, especially in a new environment like this for me. Do you usually get the same about being left alone? I mean, sometimes, doesn't everybody? Yeah, it's a fair point. Um, so, uh, when would be the uh, first time you ever felt alone? Well, this is going to sound really ridiculous, but when I was 10, I had lost a doll of mine that I had for many years, and I really depended on that doll for comfort. Daisy, Mommy says I'm starting preschool soon, and she says I can't take you with me. I don't want to leave you! Daisy, I finished my first day of school. I have to tell you all about it. Daisy? Daisy? Where are you? Mom, where's Daisy? Well, the moment I realized that I had lost it, I had a pretty bad panic attack and I had to go to the doctors. And soon after that, I had a lot of trouble sleeping. So, uh, do you still have the same, uh, you know, problems now? Actually, no. Things got a lot better during my middle school years. What happened in middle school that uh, made it all stop? I actually made a friend, and she helped me out a lot. She listened to me, and I really needed her by my side during that time. So, is the friend that you made in middle school the same friend that brought you today? Yeah. That's cool. Um, so your friend was telling me that you're in a relationship. How's that going? Uh, we've been together for about a year now. Oh, wow, a year. Um, how have you managed to uh, stay with them for so long? Well, we made time for each other, and um, I guess we just love being around each other. I love being with him. What are you looking at? Oh, well, my dad just texted me that my mom's in the hospital still, and she's getting really sick. I should really go visit her right now. I have to go. No, just stay for a little bit longer, yeah? I, I'm sorry, I have to go with my mom. She's sick. I'm gonna go right now. No, just stay. I need you here. Don't leave me. Okay, I'll stay today, but tomorrow I have to go. Okay. All right, I think that's all for today. Would you be able to come back next week? Yes. All right. Uh, here's my card. Whenever you start to uh, feel anxious or lonely, give me a call and uh, I'll guide you through it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Can you help me? You can do it. You can help me. 
I'll watch you do it. birthday party tonight. Do I look okay for it? Yeah. Are you sure? I feel like I'm not good enough for it yet. You look fine. Are you sure? Be brutally honest with me. If I look bad, tell me. You look fine. Are you sure? I feel like I have to redo my hair. And like, should I get my red shirt or this one? I don't know. It will work for birthday party. Are you sure? All right. Should I change my shoes? No, those are fine. You don't want to wear anything uncomfortable. Yeah, but what if everybody else is going to dress formal and I'm like the only one there with this? It's a birthday party. I don't think they're going to dress formal. Okay, if you say so. Oh, hey, my boyfriend's here. He said he wanted to talk for a little bit. Oh, um, do you want me to leave you two alone? Just for a little while. Okay. What want to talk about? Um, I think we should start seeing other people. Did I do something wrong? Uh, you're just too close to me. I, I need my space. You can't leave. I need you. I'm sorry, but I just can't take this anymore. You you always want things from me. You always need me to do things for you, be with you all the time. I I need to go. I need to my space. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Elizabeth displays signs of discomfort pertaining to relationships and their inevitable problems. She has trouble accepting positions of responsibility, requires the approval of others, and expresses remorse at the sole thought of being abandoned. Traumatic experiences such as the loss of her doll consequently brought about her present-day feelings of rejection. Fundamental causes of her dependency issues have evolved into true obstacles in her everyday life. It would seem as though she might carry other psychological disorders, which are commonly linked with emotions regarding abandonment. In conclusion, it seems fit to treat Elizabeth for a dependent personality disorder, which would entail therapeutic conversations in hopes of suppressing her impulsivity towards situations regarding separation and independence.